Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. I know right now it's a very difficult time for everybody, and I hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy. Um, I'm also in self quarantine right now because California has this shelter in place order, and I figure maybe right now is a good time to do a video about my luxury jewelries because I know some of you are requesting this video and um, since I'm at home I figure maybe like a video like this will give you some you know a break from all this bad news in the on TV or like on the newspaper so why don't we get started um, I know a lot of you guys are a huge fan of luxury handbags, but I think luxury jewelry is also like good investment piece. So I'm going to walk you through like my um, engagement ring. I know a lot of people requested like a detailed review video after my engagement story video. And I'm going to share with you some of my favorite necklaces from all these luxury brands. Um, I think jewelry are very important, well equally important to girls. Um, as handbags because I think you can pass down your jewelry to the next generation to your son uh, to your daughter or your like daughter-in-law in the future and I think you can match it with um, it, it is a classic piece you can match it with any outfit so I think it's a good investment um, and let's get started from the engagement ring um, as you know like this is from Tiffany and it's this uh, it is in this like gorgeous Tiffany blue box on top of the box it says marry me I think my fiance was very thoughtful he actually had it engraved um, and let's open the box Ta -da! it's actually quite nice to see the ring because um, it seems we're staying at home I didn't really get a chance to wear it that often um, and inside the box it says Tiffany and Co New York since 1837 so Tiffany is a really like a, a brand with 100 years of history and as you can see like I always keep it in this box I know like some people keep it in their other jewelry box or like even Lego sets but I think the blue box does the work let me take the ring out um, as you can see like this is in oval shape um, and it has like this a uh, a little bit halo outside of this uh, center stone. I actually like oval quite a lot. Um, I think it looks good on my finger. Actually, make my finger look even longer uh, than the round shape. But um, I guess the round shape will usually give more sparkle uh, compared to the oval shape. But anyways, I feel like this is more me. It's uh, a very special a piece in my heart and um, I know um, Tiffany has this like you no know, upgrade system that if you're willing to you know spend twice as much the price that you pay for like the engagement ring you can always upgrade your ring but for me I don't think I'll ever do that because I think this ring has like a carries like such a, a huge and such a sweet memory um, and if you haven't watched my engagement story, I'm going to link it on the top right so that you can check it out. All right, so after we talk about like the engagement ring, let me continue um, by talking about like some of my favorite necklaces. So I usually hang my necklaces on, the, on this like tiny little shelf. <clears throat> because I love to have my jewelry, you know, display so that every morning when I need to pick Oh, what necklace that I want to wear? I can make a very quick decision. So one of my favorite uh, necklace is this um, Little mother of pro butterfly from uh, Van Cleef and Arpos. So or some people call it like VCA um, I know a lot of people would choose like their classic like sweet Hembra. Uh, this is also sweet Hembra, but I personally prefer Mother of Pro because this is a neutral color, so it goes well with all my outfits. And it's just like a very tiny little piece. Uh, but as you can see, like it's um, Mother of Pro with uh, with yellow gold. I really like this combination, um, and it actually looks quite cute when you wear it whether with t-shirt or with skirts uh, or dress so um, for this one I remember it's like around 
uh, $1,500 in the US um, and I heard the cheapest place to, not the cheapest place, but the best place to buy the uh, VC necklace is in Hong Kong. <laughs> Some people did a uh, price comparison among different countries. And what I like the most about this necklace is the chain. As I mentioned earlier, this is in yellow gold and I really, really like the sparkle. It's like shiny like a diamond. Moving on to the next necklace. So this is my favorite pearl brand, uh, Mikimoto from Japan. I know like they're the pearl provider for the royal family in Japan. And if you watch the news or if you follow the royal family of Japan, you know how much they love pearls. And Mikimoto is really the best when it comes to like pearl necklaces and um, also like the bracelets. I also have like a, a set of bracelets from Mikimoto and I love matching it with again yellow gold as you can tell like all almost all of my necklaces are in yellow gold uh, I'm just like crazy in love with a yellow gold because it matches really wa uh, well with the pearl or like the white color um, or like the mother of pearl oh I just realized pretty much all my necklaces or the luxury necklaces are either in pearl or mother of pearl because it's such a neutral color and it looks really classic and elegant. So I also like this bracelet because um, it's just like very cute. I love the simple design and how it has like this six little pearls with the um, yellow gold, you know, um, bracelet here and the tricky thing is like you can't really wear it yourself you have to ask somebody to help you wear it so this is something that I actually struggle with but um, anyways once you wear this on your uh, no wrist I think it's really gorgeous okay moving on to the next piece so this one oh my gosh I wear this so much recently because um, this is my newest addition to my luxury jewelry collection. Um, so this is from uh, Bulgari and um, I got it from the UK when I was on a business trip and because I bought it in the airport so there's no like you know no tax and I think I got it at a really really decent price. What I love about this is it's a perfect combination of, um, you know, diamond and also like the mother of pearl. And if you look closely, you see like the mother of pearl is pretty raw. And although like they pol uh, polish it and they have like a layer of protection on top, it's, it still like show this like gorgeous, like, you know, uh, the sheen of the mother of pearl. And um, if you look on the back, they actually have some like design. Um, on the back, which I also like because sometimes it might flip to the back and even if with the design on the back I think it still looks very gorgeous um, and Different from the other necklaces. This one is in um, the pink gold or rose gold I think rose gold is also a very nice color if you match it with um, mother pro and um it looks really good on some of the warmer like skin, uh, skin tone like mine and um, it looks like a little dress in shape and um, I don't know when I wear it I just feel like my face looks slimmer <laughs> all right uh, last but not least this is something that is really trending and popular these days um, this is the zodiac um, necklace that I got from uh, oak and fork I think so this is actually pretty cheap it's only 20 bucks but I really love it because you can match it with your black turtleneck and it will look really nice and shiny alrighty so that's all my luxury jewelry collection I actually don't have a lot um, and usually like when I wear a necklace I'll go for like the most classic piece um, I think that's true for like handbags too, right? It's always quanti uh, quality over quantity. You don't need too much, but once you have like the most classic piece, you can kind of wear it and match with all type of clothes. And I really hope that the coronavirus can get contained soon so that I can go out again and wear my ring again. <laughs> right now I can only like look at it at home. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to watch any other types of video, for example, like more handbags reviews, please leave it on the comment down below. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.